Ga, and this is Life Above the Clouds, your guide to elevated eating with a new cannabis recipe every week. If you like the sound of that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss notifications for any of my new videos. Last week, we made cannabis candied bacon, and this week, I am still talking about tailgating snacks with one of my other all-time favorites, queso. Now I am from Texas and queso is one of the snacks that we would have all the time and it was always a Velveeta and Rotel which will always have a special place in my heart but this week we are going to make a cannabis infused queso dip with real cheese. To start I have my pot over medium high heat and then I'm using two tablespoons of cannabis infused olive oil. Saute your chopped onions for about five minutes until they are translucent and then add your minced garlic and saute for another minute until it is nice and great. Then we are going to add our cheese. I'm using a combination of white cheddar, mild cheddar, and pepper jack cheese. But for this recipe, you can substitute those for any of your favorite cheeses. I really like the flavors of the cheddar and I love the pepper jack because it adds a little spiciness. But American cheese also works great for this and one of my friends always puts goat cheese in his queso, which adds a really interesting, cool, unique flavor. I bought my cheese in eight ounce blocks from the grocery store and shredded them in my food processor. You can also cube them with a knife, but I don't recommend buying pre-shredded cheese because they're usually coated with something to help it from sticking together, which affects the melting. So, in my opinion, go for the big cubes of cheese. It's also probably cheaper in the end because we're buying a pound of cheese. Then pour in one cup of cannabis infused evaporated milk. I like using evaporated milk because I think that the consistency is better than using regular milk. Sometimes when I use regular milk, the liquids tend to separate, which is gross. Nobody wants that. Stir it occasionally until all the cheese is melted and then add your diced tomatoes and your peppers. Today I am using chili peppers in adobo sauce because I love that smoky flavor, but you can also use green peppers, which is a great classic because that's what they have in Rotel, or you can even add jalapenos. I don't like using jalapenos because I don't like things that are spicy, but if you are using fresh jalapenos, go ahead and saute them when you're sauteing your onions and garlic. Mix that all together and then season with salt and pepper and we have our finished cannabis queso. Now just serve your queso warm with your favorite tortilla chips. Mmm, cheese is so good. I really like a chunky queso, which is why I like having onions and tomatoes and chili peppers in mine. But you know, if you don't like a chunky queso and you just want all cheese because cheese is awesome, you can also spice up your queso using chili powder, red pepper flakes, you can add a little garlic powder and onion powder, and you're still gonna get an amazing cannabis infused queso. I hope you liked this episode of Life Above the Clouds. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. And if you guys ever want to help out by sending over a cup of sugar or a bag of flour, go check out my Patreon page where you can get access to recipe sneak peeks, behind the scenes footage, all kinds of fun stuff. There is a link in the description section below. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.